So this is my second tutorial on cable state bridge for Maida Civil. In the first one I've shown how to model this cable state bridge and now I will show you in this one how to make a construction stage analysis. So construction stage analysis is used to check the stability during the construction at each stage and to review the stress at each uh, construction stage. So it is very useful to um, to understand the stability of the bridge when it is constructed. So the method which is used is to construct first the side spam girder and the towers, then the cables are uh, put and some girders are constructed, constructed stage by stage until the final key segment installation. So this type of construction stage analysis is called uh, forward analysis. But in this tutorial, I will uh, use another method, which is the backward analysis. So here it is. So I will first go from the last step, where uh, I have the equilibrium, and I will come back to the first uh, step. So let's come back into my level. And the first thing I will uh, do is uh, to open the previous model uh, I used in the previous tutorial. So it is here. So don't forget to save this model uh, with another name in order to um, have it for uh, final. So you can call it construction backward, for example, and save it. Okay. First of all, we'll input the initial cable tension force, but before doing that, I will uh, suppress the load combination I've used in the previous tutorial. So just select the load and delete them. And in the load, static load and static load cases, I will also delete the tension uh, loads defined previously. So delete. Okay. And I will create a new uh, step called pretension. It is a user defined load. You can enter pretension in the description and add. Previously, I used truss element to model the cables of this cable state bridge, but now I will change it to cable elements. So, to do that, I will go in the node element, change parameter. So, first select all these truss elements, add, and here in element type, choose truss, tension only, choose cable, and choose the pretension load you just created, and click on apply. And then you will see here in the message window that the elements have been changed. Next step will be to assign again the pretension load uh, on all the cables, so as I have done in the previous tutorial. So load, temporary press stress, and here you have pretension load. So the value of the loads will be the one uh, which have been calculated in the first tutorial using the optimization technique. So uh, here in this table you have all the values that I have to assign to my uh, bridge. So what you can do is just uh, use this value and assign them again to the, the bridge. So I will show you how to do that. If you want to download this uh, PDF tutorial you can go on our website mydasuser.com and uh, you will be able to download all the tutorials, so the cable stage uh, file for Maida Civil and the PDF uh, tutorial. So let's go in Maida Civil and to select the cables, uh, I will use the same technique than uh, previously. So I will use the selection tool called Intersect Line. And load case, you choose pretension. Okay, and you have to choose the cables like that. So 
so if you don't see well you can make a zoom to to select and for the value so it was uh, thousand one point sixty three click and apply and just do the same for uh, different groups until you assign all the nodes so I will uh, pass on this step because uh, you already saw the process I will assign all that Okay, now it's done. Now I will generate the stages for the construction stage analysis. Define construction stage, generate. Here you can call it CS0232. Check the save results for each stage and click on OK now you have generated the 32 stage for this backward construction analysis and you will have to modify one by one in order to assign the good uh, condition for the analysis and now I will create some structure groups to uh, which will be used for the construction stage analysis. Enter the name SG, like structure group, 0232, add, and this will be created automatically. Now let's assign the elements into the different structure groups. For the first one, SG0, we will assign all the elements, so just click on select all and then drag and drop the structure group to assign every element on it. The second stage, SG1, will be the removal of the additional dead load, so we don't need to assign any element to it. And from the second uh, group, we will assign uh, first the element in the middle like that and in order to see better what is happening we can inactivate this element afterwards and from SG3 and SG4 we will begin to remove the cables and the girder successively so for the first one SG3 we will select these cables here assign SG3 and inactivate now we can do the same on the other side so be sure to select only two cables not four like that SG4 and inactivate and for SG5 select the girders here and assign them now we just have to do that um, successively to all the cables and all the girders in order to create all the structural groups for the construction analysis.
Okay, now that we have assigned all the structural groups, we can do the following step. Now let's create some new boundary groups. So we'll do the same for the boundary. Click on new. The first one we'll create will be called fixed support. Add. Create another one called elastic link. Sorry. And the third one will be bent. And rigid link. Now close that. You can activate again all the bridge. And here you just have to drag and drop it in the window. So the first one is support, so I will inactivate all the others. Click on OK. And by doing like that, it's possible to assign the boundary condition to the groups. Rigid link. So I will activate everything except rigid link. Okay. Now we'll also assign the boundary condition for the temporary bands to a boundary group. So we will input the boundary condition as hinge condition. Dx, dy, dz and rz at the center of the side span. So click on ISO view. Okay. Then go into boundary. Define support. Uh, select the node 86, 29, 130, and 63. Enter. So the nodes which has been selected are these four ones. Then go into the boundary group and select uh, boundary group name. Yes, select bent, option add, and super type D all and RZ on and apply. Now I will assign a load group. So this loading condition will become added and delete, deleted in each construction stage to each corresponding load group. The loads considered in backward construction stage analysis are the self-weight, the superimposed dead load, and the initial cable press stress. So first we will generate that. So close this and click on load group, new. The first one will be self-weight. Then we add the additional load. And finally, the pretension load. And close. Now we'll go into load, static load, and assign this self weight to uh, the self weight load I just created. Just assign minus one. To Z direction, click on add, and I have to delete the previous one. Okay, and close. Now, to define two of the load group, I will do like for the boundary condition, so I just drag and drop it here, and here I will only activate the beam loads. Okay, and for the pretension load. I will um, let only the pretension loads. Now I have to define the, the construction stage. So go into construction stage, 
v5 in the construction stage. Um, so click on CG0 and modify. And here uh, activate the save result. So okay, it's done. Element tab uh, have to go into group list sg0 and activate so here you have the table called activation and another one de deactivation so to activate sg0 you just have to add it to this group now you have three tabs here element boundary and load so to activate the element you uh, it's in the element tab now for the boundary have to go in boundary and here fixed support elastic link and rigid link and uh, choose original for the support and spring position and click on add now the last one the load choose the three types of load and activate them all now click on apply and we have to do that for all the steps so the first one CS1 for this one the only thing that will uh, change is that um, the additional load will be deactivated so we have to add it here apply now from the sage CS2 um, element tab here will deactivate C CG2 so add it in the deactivation tab the element force field distribution is 100% boundary tab um, will activate uh, the bent because during the construction stage these bends will be here in order to help to have some not too much stress inside the bridge and now from CS3 to CR32 uh, we have to unactivate the corresponding element so just add it to the the activation window so CS4 and just have to do that for all the stage And the last one, okay. Now let's go in the construction stage analysis control. Here we have to activate the last stage here, and to unactivate, include time dependent effect. So this is if we want to use a creep or sh shrinkage, here uh, we will not use that. Let's just click on OK.
Okay, now they are now this is done. So let's review first the results. Let's look at the deform shape. So you can choose a load combination and let's view the result for the first stage C S zero and choose the load case summation. Um, dxyz for the deform shape enter of scale factor of 0 0.5 check the undeformed value and apply so now you see the deform shape for the first stage and if you click here you can view the construction stage by stage of the bridge so you see I'll remove the cables and the deformation for each stage of the analysis.